In this video we are going to be comparing J-10C single-engine fighter jet of the People's Republic of China, and Dassault Aviation's twin-engine fighter jet Rafael. This comparison will be technical in nature, and so there is a lot to know in this video, so make sure to stick to the video. If we talk about the design and airframe, J-10C has uncoupled canards, uncoupled flappers, and uncoupled horizontal tail stabilizers. J-10C front RCS has been decreased very much by improving design, and implementing bump DSI. This means that its stabilizers give it secure and superb maneuverability at lower speeds something not seen on other fighters of the same class. J-10C is powered by the NPC Salyut AL-31 FN Series 3 afterburning turbofan engine which provides 135 kN thirst with afterburners, or the WS-10A which provides 125 to 145 kN of thirst with afterburners. On the other hand, Rafale has coupled canards, uncoupled flaperons, and no horizontal tail stabilizers. Its front RCS has been decreased with the help of S-duct intakes, and its electronic warfare suit also contributes making it semi-stealth. It is powered by two Snecma M88-2 turbofan engines, which provide 75 kN per engine with afterburners. If we talk about performance of both jets, the J-10C has a maximum speed of Mach 2.2, and it has a combat range of 1,250 km. It can carry a total payload of around 7,500 kg. Rafale on the other hand, has a max speed of Mach 1.8 at high altitude, and Mach 1.1 at low altitude. It has a combat range of 1,850 km, and it can carry a total payload of 9,500 kg. As Rafale is a dual-engine aircraft, that means it can carry more fuel, which increases its combat range. Rafale is also good in maneuverability as it can pull more Gs and has less load on its wings, on the other hand, the J-10C has thrust vectoring system which gives this aircraft super maneuverability. That means it gives the aircraft capability to execute tactical maneuvers that are not possible with purely aerodynamic mechanisms. It can fly higher, roll quicker, and also has a better turn rate. Overall J-10C has far better maneuverability than Rafale. As a result J-10C will perform better in dogfights, and can take quicker shots. Hence the edge goes to the J-10C in maneuverability. If we talk about radars of these jets, J-10C uses KLJ-10 radar, which is also being used within the J-20 fighter jet. That means J-10C uses radar of the fifth-generation aircraft, which suggests that this radar is very advanced. For the context, the KLJ-7A radar, which is selected for JF-17 Block 3, has around 1,000 TRM modules, and it has range of 170 km for 3 m square RCS target. On the other hand, the radar used in J-10C has 1200 GAN-based TR modules, and its range is unknown. But we can assume and make speculation with KLJ-7A radar in JF-17 Block 3. As the power of engine in J-10C is higher than that of JF-17 Thunder, and its radar has more TR modules, so we can assume that its range is quite longer than that of KLJ-7A due to excessive power being provided to the radar. The range is assumed to be around 250 to 300 km for 3 m square RCS targets. Also to mention that the J-10C variants also have auxiliary power supply to the electrical components of the aircraft. On the other hand, Rafale has RBE-2 AESA radar, and it is reported to deliver a greater deduction range of more than 200 km for 3 m square RCS targets. Additionally, it has improved reliability and reduced maintenance over the previous radars. RBE-2 has about 838 GAAS-based TR modules, 
However GAASTR modules are not as good as compared to GANTR modules. It can track 60 targets and can engage 8 of them at a time. Overall, Edge goes to J10C in terms of radar, as it has higher number of TR modules, and these are GAN-based TR modules which is better than GAAS-based TR modules. When it comes to avionics and electronic warfare systems, the J10C has three large multifunctional display panels, along with a wide HUD display, which is same used in the J20. And Chinese joint helmet mounted display is also provided, which is claimed to be better than that of the Su-27, sold to the Chinese by Russia. A new single-panel multi-function display system with a helmet-mounted sight and IRST which is developed by AVIC, was also displayed at Zhuhai Airshow, so a possible upgrade for J10C in future, however the actual information is kept classified. The radar warning receivers are provided ahead of the canards, and at the tail section, the canopy is also coated by radar-absorbing materials, to make it stealthier. Multiple electronic countermeasure sensors are added all over the body. These sensors are almost the same used on J20. It has a nose-mounted IRST system. Overall, it seems that it shares the same electronic warfare suit from China's most capable fifth-generation aircraft J20. It can also carry jamming pods on its two nose-mounted hardpoints and other modern pods. It also features tail-mounted pod which is for electronic warning or countermeasures. When it comes to Rafale, it also has three wide multi-functional display system. Rafale has a very capable Spectra electronic warfare suit, which is a very advanced system integrated with other avionics. It can provide excessive countermeasures, such as shaft decoys etc., for incoming aerial, as well as ground-based threats. It also has nose-mounted IRST and optical sensor, which helps in passive detection, and is immune to jamming. It can carry target designation pods, developed by Thales, on chin-hard points. It also features HMD sites developed by Elbit Systems. In comparison, there's no doubt about it that these both platforms are neck-to-neck -neck in terms of electronic warfare suit. Rafale uses Spectra, a very capable electronic warfare system. On the other hand, J-10C uses an electronic warfare suit, derived from fifth-generation aircraft J-20, which is also very advanced. Both jets are advanced in their own class. If we talk about weapon packages of both jets, both platforms have a large variety of weapons for all sorts of operations and situations. Both jets can deploy subsonic anti-ship cruise missiles, and have potent BVR missiles, are assisted by HMD and IRST systems. If we talk about within visual range missiles, Rafale uses MICA missile, which has operational range of 20 kilometers. J-10C uses PL-10E, which also has operational range of 20 kilometers. But PL-10E however can pull greater 60 Gs, which are more than 50 Gs of the MICA missile, and PL-10E have laser proximity fuse, hence it cannot be countered by countermeasures, such as electronic attack or flares. On the other hand, again, Advantage goes to the J-10C for its PL-15 BVR missile versus Meteor BVR missile, as PL-15 has higher range of 170 km as compared to Meteor, which has range of 150 km. In terms of payload capacity and armament, the edge goes to the Rafale, as it can carry more payload, and can deploy a variety of weapons. In conclusion, both jets are dominating in few domains, and are neck to neck with each other, both are quite potent for their roles, and remember, both are lethal and deadly platforms. That's what I've got for you today. If you like this video, like it or share it with your friends. Press the bell icon to get notified as the new video lands on the channel and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.